everyone, Matt here from Doctors Are Running, and today we're gonna do a sub two in review of the Mizuno Wave Inspire 18. So the Inspire 18 has been a long running, high heel drop, moderate stability running shoe that's been around, like I said, for quite some time. The newest version gets a little bit lighter than the last one. It's a little smoother. There's a full length energy uh, midsole here, which does make this a little bit more snappy. Not the softest ride in traditional Mizuno sense because they tend to run a little bit firmer, but this transition a little bit better and it's a little less clunky than the last version. One of the big things, it's one of the few shoes that still has a high heel drop, right? It's 12 millimeter drop. It's a 31 in the heel, 19 in the forefoot, and one of the few that still has some medial support here. So there is, they, Mizuno uses a wave plate, so there's more medial, um, wedges here in the plate compared to the lateral side so that creates a little bit more medial support through this and it's primarily um, enclosed in the heel and midfoot so that's what makes it unique there's the only other shoe that really does that is the brooks adrenaline so there's a couple options for people that need higher heel drop and moderate to high stability now there are we're not seeing as many high heel drop shoes anymore but they do still benefit certain populations who's that going to benefit a lot of people that like low drop shoes right you're gonna find the heel clunky on this thing because it's a high heel but those who have really short calves or they might have limited ankle joint motion a high heel drop shoe may actually benefit you yes the forefoot's a little bit more flexible so your transition a little bit farther but a high heel drop really reduces the amount of range of motion the calf needs to go through for you to transition forward so people that have really stiff calves really stiff ankles if you don't have a lot of ankle dorsiflexion a higher heel drop shoe may do well for you while you transition down but always remember you should always be working on your body first and using the shoes second.